But good morning, Michael here. Time for a devotion. And I do have some concerns about, you know, the direction this world is heading, the frenzy for war, the support of immoralities, the agendas that some superpowers seem to have to channel people into a certain line of thought and away from a certain level of moral behavior. It's like anything goes, almost if, as if there's a tower of Babel of evil and such a huge force that you think, well, only God could really impact on what's happening. But as we read scripture, we're reminded of how great our Savior is. And as we embark on reading from the Spurgeon archives today, the verse coming from Joshua, uh, as highlighted in these first uh, nine verses of chapter one, and then we'll go on to Spurgeon's exposition. It's a uh, subhead, it's God's commissions, Joshua, and starts by verse one, by saying, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people, into the land that I am giving to them, to the people of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I will give to you, just as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites to the great sea towards the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous. For you shall cause this people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to do according to all the law that Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And so for that verse, I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. That's verse 5. Spurgeon rises. This word to Joshua is often quoted. It is the basis of that New Testament word, He hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Beloved, a life of warfare is before us, but the Lord of hosts is with us. Are we called to lead a great but fickle people? This promise guarantees us all the wisdom and prudence that we shall need. Have we to contend with cunning and powerful enemies? Here is strength and valor, prowess and victory. Here we have vast heritage to win. By this sign we shall achieve our purpose. The Lord himself is with us. It would be woe to us indeed if Jehovah could fail us. But as this can never be, the winds of disquietude are laid to sleep in the caverns of divine faithfulness. On no one occasion will the Lord desert us. Happen what may, he will be at our side. Friends drop from us, their help is but an April shower. But God is faithful. Jesus is the same forever, and the Holy Spirit abideth. In us. Come, my heart, be calm and hopeful today. Clouds may gather, but the Lord can blow them away. Since God will not fail me, my faith shall not fail. 
And as he will not forsake me, neither will I forsake him. Oh, for a restful faith. <laughs>